tolerance stack up analysis fundamentals why tolerance stack up analysis to ensure that all the parts fit together in 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 assembly to measure the allowable value in form due to the variations in manufacturing to understand the worst case fit and form of the parts in an assembly to manufacture the parts by assuring the allowable variation in size and location. What is stack up analysis? Stack up analysis is a mathematical calculation used to measure the gap and interference value between the parts in an assembly due to the variation in its form, orientation and location. Stack up analysis is a, uh, is a mathem is an analytical reasoning tool used to desire the allowable values of interference a gap between parts from the key perspectives of its uh, functional requirements in an assembly and its manufacturability. Advantages of a tolerance stack up analysis. Thorough understanding of the functional requirements of um, each and every part in an assembly, prevention of quality defects and improved uh, product quality at its uh, design stage, cost reduction due to the optimized tolerance, reduction in development time to market improved customer satisfaction when should we do stack up analysis at design stage before drawing release types of stack up analysis a linear stack up a radial stack up part and assembly stack ups four basic steps of stack up analysis first clear definition of the problem Define where do you want gap or interference in an assembly. Second, select the acceptance criteria. What is the desired answer or result in the gap or interference variations? Third, identify the stack path in an assembly. What are all the features of sizes or features that impact the variation? Fourth, perform mathematical calculations. Assumptions in stack up. Variations in my crunch due to the following factors are not considered in stack up analysis. Parts are at room temperature, parts are to print, dry, no wear, zero reflection, no unusual conditions. Problem definition. The clear definition of uh, the problem involves three sub-steps. A. Document the stock objective. B. List the conditions under which the stock is being calculated. C. Label the start point, end point and direction of the stock. Document the stock objective. The stock objective here for the drawing show. For the drawing show. Find the maximum and minimum distance between the shoulder and the left side of the group. List the conditions under which the stock is being calculated. The temperature of the parts, whether the parts meet print specifications, whether the stock includes or excludes wear, the amount of deflection on the parts, any unusual conditions present in stock. Label the start point, end point and direction of the stock. What is a start point? Start point is a feature in the first part we named in the problem definition. The end point is the another feature in the second part, in the a feature in the second part. The end point should always be a feature in the second part. Stock indicator as shown in the drawing. Directions, the positive sign for the arrow pointing towards the end point and negative sign for the arrow pointing away from the end point. Purposes of uh, stock indicator. There are two purposes. Why do we use uh, stock indicator? To add or subtract a dimension in the stock calculation. Whether, whether we have to add or subtract a dimension. That For that we are using the indicators. The positive sign for adding a dimension, negative uh, sign for subtracting. And second purpose, to interpret the stock answer. If there is a positive sign in the answer, implies there is a gap between the parts. If there is a negative sign implies an interference.
rules for starting point. Axial starts start on the left, radial starts start on the bottom. Stock indicator example. Stock point. A feature is a surface of stock point in this stock indicator example. It is a feature and surface of the shoulder. That is first part in stock. The second point, a feature, a, a feature that is a surface of a, that is that is a surface the, of a groove. That is second part in stock. Stock objective here is find the maximum and minimum distance between the shoulder and the left side of the groove. Stock indicator the positive and negative directions for the stock. Acceptance criteria. Select the acceptance criteria. Writing down the answers or design goals that you desire before you do the mathematical calculations of stock for lowering product cost. Select the acceptance criteria. That is the critical step here in the stock up analysis. Writing down before you are doing the stock up analysis. That is Writing down the answers or design goals that you desire before you do the mathematical calculations of stock for lowering product cost. Identification of the third step identification of stock path. What is a stock path? A series or chain of distances that is part dimensions from stock point to end point of stock. This chain consists only of known dimensions. There is known dimensions on the drawing or a derived dimensional value that is calculated dimensional value from the drawing to identify the stock path. Locate the shortest continuous chain of distances or part dimensions or derived dimensions. Mark each dimension with a line, place a dot at starting point and an arrow at its end point. Label each distance with a letter, example A, B, C, etc. Start by the example. The stock labels here shown A, B, C. A stock indicator with a sign positive or negative. And stock objective is marked here. Here we have to find out the maximum minimum distance. And the stock objective. In mathematical script, one is equal that is minus b plus minus a plus so b from mathematical minus equations. Now position. Enter the value of distances from the stock path and to the stock form. Set achievable variations in each distance. Enter acceptable maximum and minimum distances in two different columns. Add each column of numbers, check the subtotals, evaluate the answer analytically. Assembly stacks, same as step 1 to 4. Based on worst case uh, meeting of parts, assembled two stacks to be done to find the minimum and maximum of the analyzed dimension. And points to remember in, in assembly stacks, each part in the assembly should touch at least one part. Stock path can pass on from one path to the other through the contact points. It's an example of a stock analysis. Here X is the mark, is a gap. We have to find out what is the minimum and maximum gap or distance. So A, B, C, B are labels of the distances. in the stock path and the stock calculation is done mathematically the gap x is equal to minus a minus b plus c minus d the answer is plus 1 with a tolerance variation of plus or minus 1.7 it is a very simple example we will see in detail with the GDNT samples in part 2